Welcome to the Press for Conversation Live. I'm your host, Mr. Layback Corey. I got a special guest in here today, man. He's a very special guest. He's a massage therapist. Man, He he's a jack of all trades, man. My man, Aaron B. What's up? <laughs> so what's going on, Aaron? Not much, man. I, uh, I'm really... Uh I did a massage this morning, went home, showered up, got ready, shot down here. It was actually down here downtown. Okay. Yeah. So what made you get into what made you get into the massage business? Um, uh, it really started I was uh I was boxing. I've been boxing since I was nine years old. Okay. And then um uh I broke my hand. I moved out to LA, mm -hmm. uh, broke my hand and um got into, you know, uh physical therapy okay. for my hand and uh i kind of started to fall in love with the art of you know massaging you know what i'm saying so um once i got you know obsessed with massaging uh i just you know i started going to school um this was, I, was, I was about 23 I, was, I just turned 33 so it's been about 10 years now yeah. So you said boxing. Um, did you start boxing here in Detroit or yeah, yeah, what yeah. gym? Yeah, Crump. Oh, you was at Crump. Okay. Yeah. Who was coaching you? Um, I had Coach Ali, uh, Tony Harrison's dad. Mm -hmm. He was coaching me. Oh man, um, RIP, RIP yeah, to great RIP, man. Yeah, RIP, Coach Ali. Man, I love him to death. Cause you know I used, I train boxing myself. So, okay. Yeah, I've been in boxing since I was like nineteen, twenty. I okay. started boxing. I started boxing with this guy named Monty King down in downtown, the old downtown boxing. Yeah, okay. But uh, the boxing part didn't work out for me, so I started coaching. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it was a blast. But how long? So how long you say you've been doing this? How long you've been doing massages? Ten years. Oh, about ten, ten years. years. Yeah, twenty three mm. to thirty three mm. now. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you also travel? You travel to people's houses and homes. Yeah, and you yeah. do it at your house. Yep, yeah, I just um, I really do more more traveling to to people's places than I do at my house. But I do do them at my house. But I travel out of state. Uh, the one I did was downtown. I've been doing a lot lately downtown, uh, Motor City, mm. um, uh, shit, wherever. Mm. I cuss, I cuss on here. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I gotta ask you this question. Have you ever dealt with this situation? Say, for instance, you had a nice, you know, you got your layouts done, you got your oil ready, mm -hmm. and you had this nice, beautiful girl, and she, you know, she take off all her clothes, and you get ready to massage her. Yeah. But when you get when you get down to the lower part, you be like, damn, I wish this brought her, yep, her coochie stank. Oh. <laughs> How do you deal with that, man? <laughs> um, the bad <laughs> smells. Um... Yeah, do it make do it make I your hate. eyebrows turn? I mean, what's going nah, on? Man? Nah, nah, nah. Um, do you tell them? No, no, I don't tell them. Um, I haven't really dealt with that often. I I probably really in the ten years of me doing it, it it's been like maybe two times. I've had like a bass. <laughs> <laughs> I've had like a. Uh, like a, a awkward stench, a little tart stench, but I don't get that close, you know. So it, it doesn't it doesn't really. So what do anything. what type of oil do you use? Do you use baby oil? Do you use WD forty? I mean, nah, nah, what nah. type of oil do you use on the women? Um, I I use a mixture of hemp oil, um, hemp oil, tea tree oil, and um. Uh, well, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's like hoba hoba or joba mm -hmm. joba, something like that. What's your favorite? Um, the hemp oil. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I, but I use like a mixture mm -hmm. of all of them. So why yeah. the why is the the hemp oil? Why is that your favorite? Um, well, the hemp. Uh, you know, a lot of people use coca. Uh, what is it? Is it uh coconut oil? Uh, coconut oil, but um. No, I don't know. What, it's not coconut oil. What's the oil? Oh, uh, like cocoa butter. So people be using cocoa butter, but that really um like clogs the pores, okay. so it's not really good. So uh, the hemp oil, hemp oil, you know, hemp is good for everything. So, um, you know, I love I love the hemp oil, and then I'm also you know um I, I'm in the marijuana you know uh, 
what you, the industry, business, okay. whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, so you basically like you like I said, you do the marijuana and the and the massage, the massaging. So, massage therapy is an art because yeah. I know when you touching when you touching certain parts of the body and you know, it makes them feel comfortable and it also stretches them out. Yeah. So how many how many women do you massage a day? About four, four to five. Okay. Do you yeah, do do you do men as well, or just women? Yeah, I do men as well. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I can't discriminate. You know, it's right, business, right, 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 you know right. Everybody yeah, so. deserves to get stretched out. You yeah, know? yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so. I, I don't. Uh, you know, I I I don't. Um, it would be wrong for me. You know, because it's a business. You know, uh, pure touch is. You know, it's an LLC. It's a business. It's my business. Right. I I can't. Dis- discriminate on who I'm massaging and who you know men get athletes you know get massaged you know it, it, I can't pick and choose you know what I'm saying it, it'd be wrong for me to do that you know? right right because everybody deserves to have a piece of the pie you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying right. but I usually see you I've seen some of your videos how you be massaging these women I'm be like oh homeboy doing <laughs> <laughs> you know, he he he, he makes sure the women is very satisfied in the massaging way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Massaging I'm, way. I'd be like, whoa, one girl, I, he was rubbing her butt. I'm like, whoa, okay, yeah, she, you know, but it was a massage part. So, yeah. do you charge them more for that? Well, for what now? Just to rub them down like that, you know what I'm saying? Because I know, you know what I'm saying? Some, you know, I know you said you was in a relationship and whatever like that, but you yeah. know what I'm saying? Do your. Do your other half kind of feel something about that? Or no, no, no. She's real secure. She's real comfortable. You right, know? Yeah. right. Um, because at the end of the day, it's a business. It's and a business. You, and you, and yeah. like you coming home empty-handed. So. Yeah, right, exactly. So, um, yeah, she uh, she's cool with it. And uh, as far as charging, no, uh, it's, it's like a, a flat rate, full body massage. You know, from head to toe, their ears, their feet, you know, they the temples, the forehead, uh, you know, all the way down to the tips of their toes, you know what I'm saying? The inner thighs, the outer thighs is, you know, I don't charge more for, you know, I might charge more if I, because um, I do hot stone massages. Now, uh, now what is hot stone massages? The hot stones, they're, um, the hot stones, they are for to uh, loosen up like the muscles okay and and you know where people are more tense at that's a whole nother like art you know what i'm saying in itself of massaging okay. so i'll charge like an extra like 20 dollars for that um and then a hot towel that's also helps with you know relieving tension and uh inflammation and i'll charge an extra 10 dollars for that so, have you ever had to go up on somebody's price? I mean, have you ever? So you have you ever did like two women in one session or? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. In one of the videos, um, in one of the videos, you could actually see, uh, they both came. In one of the videos, I think you could see her friend chilling. I've done uh, what's the most six girl six girls in, in one. I've done a uh, bachelorette parties uh they all got our massages in july i'm actually going to what's that to florida to the keys for the florida keys for a bachelor bachelorette party and it's like i think six girls six or seven girls so how was i i see you had a uh uh by the way happy belated birthday i see you had a party how was that the party, oh mm. man, the party was good. I, I don't, I don't drink like that, but when I do, you know, we had a good time, man. We had a good time. Bought, I think we bought like eight bottles. I made sure everybody had a bottle in their hand. We was, I don't know how many people came yeah, out I, with us. I seen a video when you was on there roasting some of your friends from the old picture. Uh, about a, uh, some guy like I, 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 oh Cedric the Entertainer yeah, oh, yeah man, that was, was from last year yeah well, yeah I bust out crying yeah laughing, that's man. my brother man that's my that's my man that's, my, that's what's that, up. he actually he's the one who actually when I came back from L A he's the one who got me into the to the marijuana uh, business yeah I see you got a, a good tight relationship with my boy. Iceberg Teasy, tell us about that. That's my twin, man. I love him to death, man. Um, we we met, we met. We was going to a party, 
and we uh we met and we just clicked instantly instantly and, and it's it's crazy i don't know if he knows this but i know this and uh we never talked about this we was actually supposed to um fight e- well not fight each other but we were supposed to box each other uh when they was doing the boxing at the strip clubs and uh i think he was we had a we had a, a mutual friend who's also a boxer uh his name is uh a- antonio wade that's my guy. Uh, yeah, yeah, Wade. that's, that's yeah, my, my guy. guy. Yeah, yeah, he's a Gemini too, just like me. Yeah. That's my brother. Now, now, now you talking about real? You talking your way? Yeah, real. Way, yeah, that's super my, that's real. That's my boy, man. Yeah. I love Tony. Him, Wade, him, and his dad, man. They oh they, Erskine. <laughs> yeah, Erskine <laughs> yeah, Wade, shout, man. Shout out to No Wayne, man. Yeah, yeah, boxer, yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah, yeah. I, I I boxed I boxed and sparred a lot over there. That's that is like yeah, in, in my area. In Westland, yeah. Yep, yep. Antonio Wade is a real guy, man. I don't talk to him as much, but when I see him, I like to conversate with him. Yeah, that's my brother, man. Him. So, um, he was actually uh, promoting because he was doing the the strip club boxing matches, and he was like, uh, he had ran through everybody. He beat everybody. And then he started promoting them. So he was promoting a fight with me and Tony. And uh, this was when Tony, I think, was just moving back from Arizona. And uh, it just never happened. And I feel like it, it didn't happen for a reason. Right, because you see that song you wrote out called 12, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, you, 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 both of you guys don't be wanting to run from the police beating up, beating up people out yeah, here. Yeah, you know yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so yeah, I believe that fight didn't happen for a reason, and then we met going to a party, and we just clicked instantly, and that's that's my twin, man. And it, it's cool to have friends like that. Like I said, I, I met him over the phone and stuff, and he's real cool. He's a real real yeah, cool. yeah, both guys you just named Antonio Wade and and, and, and Iceberg Teasy is pretty cool. Yeah, it, it, it's real cool. I see I see a couple of boxers that follow you on Instagram. Yeah, I see a couple of them. Yeah. Um a couple is a couple more you cool with as well? Um uh, I'm basically cool with everybody. Um in the boxing world, yeah, everybody. Um from uh Tony Harrison who who brought the belt home, you know the WBC. Tony's, Tony's real cool. Yep, Tony from Tony to uh Harrison to uh man, who who else? Um uh uh I TZ he, he like I said, he used to box. Yeah. Um, I can't think of anybody off top. Off uh, top. But er- everybody who box, yeah, er- they-, they know me. I know them. You know what I'm saying? We cool. We real cool. The boxing community is real, real tight. You know, we all inspired each other at some right. point. So you box. So you box. You box people. You box heavy bags, and you also box those cheeks when you're doing massage. <laughs> yeah. <know? laughs> yeah. 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 It's kind of ironic that I went from. <laughs> Um, cause a lot of my fights, I was, uh, when I like became an adult, when I was mm-hmm. like 18, 19, I was boxing at like 120 something pounds. So Ooh. I was a lot bigger. Soaking wet. Yeah. I, but I, I was a lot bigger than all the guys I was fighting in the amateurs. So it was really so, fir- first round knockouts. Mm. So what's the, what's the, what's the favorite thing you like to do in the gym? You like to hit the heavy bag, the speed bag? I like rope. to fight. I like to spar. Oh, you like to get them down to the yeah, nitty gritty? Yeah, I don't really like too much. I mean, I like hitting the pads, but uh, and now and now this is, oh, you know, I still go to the gym here and there. Um, I, it's been a while since you know Corona and stuff like that popped off. Uh, but yeah, w- when I was active in the gym, sparring was my main thing. I was coming in there asking everybody mm. for work. So, quick question: Who's your favorite fighter? My favorite fighter right now, yeah, in this, active in, in this, this era, sport, yeah. Canelo. Yeah, minus Errol, Errol Spence. Yeah, it, it would yeah. be so. My, so my top five would it would be Got top five. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It would be Canelo. Mm-hmm. He's number one. I don't see nobody beating Canelo. Uh, number two, um, Errol Spence. Number three, um, active. Number three will probably be. So what we get, we got Canelo, Spence, Terrence Crawford. Um, number four, I say Javante. I fought him in the amateurs. Javante, David. I actually fought him three times in the amateurs. How many amateur fights you had? 
115. Oof. Yeah, yeah, 115. That's a, that's a lot. So keep going with your... With and, and the fifth one... Uh, the fifth one was the Asian guy's name. Uh, the Japanese guy. Uh, his last name starts with an N. He's a world champion. Um, he, just, he just fought. Yeah, he just fought. The guy at Bama weight. Yeah, one twenty two. Bama weight. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. He's uh, with I top want, top I rank. I don't want to say his name wrong, so I'm gonna leave it at yeah, that. Yeah, I don't want to say his name wrong neither. But well, yeah, he he's in my, my top five. My top five is my number one guy. That's that's active. Earl Earl Spence. I like Earl. Um, Terrence Crawford. I like Terrence because you can't go against. I like Javante Davis. Yeah. Um, four, Carissa Shields. Oh, yeah. I don't know why. And, I left her. Um, and five, uh, not least. A lot of people don't know him yet, but he. Uh, uh, I don't want to mess his name up, but he's a little guy. He just His name was Floyd uh, Schoolfield. I, I don't want to mess his name up. But mm. I think he, he's coming up in the rank too. So I'm not. I don't know. But I'm. A, I'm gonna switch it up because he's one of my favorite. But my favorite one out of five, the last one is called Daniel Dubai. She's from overseas. Okay. Heavyweight. Yeah. 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 It's a heavyweight. But uh, let's talk about. Give me three top. Give me three top old school fighters you like. You three top old school. That's not boxing anymore. Uh, can I say Floyd? You got the right to say Floyd. Yeah. yeah okay. So mm-hmm. Floyd, uh, Sugar Ray, Ro- Sugar Ray Leonard. Uh, and if you got more than that, just go ahead. Like five, because three is too tight. Yeah. Okay. So um, five. So well, we got Floyd, mm-hmm. Sugar Ray Leonard, mm-hmm. Pernell Whitaker. Oh Lord. Yep. Uh, uh, Sugar Ray Robinson, and mm-hmm. I gotta say Muhammad Ali. Yeah. My favorite. My top favorite number one is Lennox Lewis. Yeah. I like Lennox. Um, my second one would be uh, Terry Norris. Mm-hmm. I like Terry Norris. Uh, my third, my third best will be uh, Sugar Ray Robinson. Mm-hmm. My first one will be um, Marvin Hagler. Oh yeah. yeah. And uh, my fifth one, my fifth one I like watching would be um, dang my fifth one because I got I got a couple that I really like. Oh, yeah, Tommy Hearns. Yeah, it's this dude named uh, Quin- uh, Quincy Taylor out of Dallas, Texas. Okay. Quincy Taylor out of Dallas, Texas. He knocked out Julian Jackson. Okay. Joe did. Just saw Paul. Yeah. Quincy Taylor. A lot of people don't know him, but he, I liked him. So. Yeah. But, don't, you know, the best boxer from here, the best boxer from, I never got a chance to meet him besides Tommy Hearns was, they say, super, uh, Bernard super bad mates, but I never met him. I never seen him, so I don't know. Okay. You know, yeah. so. Who's your favorite, who's your favorite coach? My favorite coach? Mm-hmm. That, that I had training me? Just overall. Overall in the boxing game? I think I think Coach Ali was 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 let's top, let, top let's of talk line. about him, man, because it sucks to see greatness leave so soon. Yeah, right, right. And I cried, man, because he was so humble. Like he was. He had it's nothing you can say bad about him, man. He was nothing. Any question I had, man, he was willing to answer, no yeah. matter what situation he was in. And when he left, man, it's like boxing went with him. Him and Emmanuel. Yeah. But I never met. I only talked to me, me Manuel Stewart on the phone one time. Yeah. But I, man, Tony Harrison and LJ, shout out to Super Bad Boxing. Yeah. Shout but out they, to, uh, they, Superbad. man, it's I get emotional talking about him because yeah. he was just that guy. Like going to guy. talk to him, man. It was. I used <sighs> to call him with everything, man. Girl problems, man. And he, uh, and he, 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 he don't he. He never got out of pocket, man. You can Yeah. It's it's rare to find people like him in this world. Yeah. Man. When yeah. he left, man, it was just that make a person want to quit. Because yeah, like I sure. said, it sucks to see greatness leave so soon. Yeah. And both of his sons, man, like Tony and LJ, I got so much respect yeah, for them. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I like I said, Super Bad Academy, man. If y'all had a chance, man, make sure y'all get down there, man. It's a great gym, man. Yeah. For and sure. I, I wish the best for nothing, nothing but and good endeavorments coming from over here, man. Yeah, for sure. Me but too. when it when it comes to him, man, it was, man, it's that was, that he was straight up, L. man. That was an L. That was an L for sure. That was that was straight up pure humbleness, man. Like, yeah, you can't find that today, man. Yeah, and, and for him to see his son win, you know, the the belt of belts. Yeah. You know, before he 
he passed. That right. you know that I like, but you know, like I like boxing. Boxing is a great art. Boxing is a great art, and I pre. I'm furthermore, I appreciate you for for coming on the show, man. I appreciate you for coming on the show, man. And, I appreciate you having me. For sure. I appreciate you. You know, keep keep doing what you're doing. Keep massaging those women, women or men, whatever whatever you decide to massage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, keep keep knocking that out, man. <laughs> you yeah, know what I'm saying? Sure. Keep, sure. keep doing what you do, man. And I like I said, I appreciate you coming on the on the show, y'all. For y'all watching, this is the Press for Conversation podcast. I'm your host, Mr. Layback Corey. I got my main man Aaron B. So give us a give us a, a social media if we want to get in touch with Aaron, the massage therapist. How can we do so? Oh, it, it just uh, I'm not like super big with it. My my page was private for a long time, uh, but it, it's just Pure Touch Detroit. Uh, that's my Instagram. All I right. got a Twitter, but I don't be on right. Twitter like that. Well, that's 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 good enough. So make sure like if y'all want to get good business inquiry, hit them up at. Pure Touch Detroit on IG. Uh, you can hit me up on the Press for Convo on IG. Also, um, we are also on on Anchor, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, all them great and great and materials. Make sure y'all hit that like and comment button down below, and make sure you hit that subscribe button. This is the Press for Conversation, y'all. Peace. <laughs>